Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is We All Juggle Knives with a commentary video. Yeah, some social commentary. I just could not resist this uh, BS affluenza story. I got to put in my two cents. Some people were asking, uh, where's the latest broadcast video? You know, we had some good weather here, so I unexpectedly had to go out and uh, do some videos out there. Uh, but don't worry, bad weather is going to uh, produce some more broadcasts. Yeah, this affluenza story... Okay, for those who don't know, this... Okay, profanity warning, sorry. Uh, profanity warning, okay, because I can't really be honest about this story without getting a little pissed off. This motherfucker killed four people when he was 16. This drunk, he was driving drunk, like three times the legal limit of alcohol in his bloodstream, and he plowed into four people by the side of the road who had just stopped um, to help to help someone whose car broke down, right? Three of them were helping the one guy, and he killed them all in this huge truck that mommy and daddy bought him. Oh, this kid is rich, by the way, that's the whole thing. This rich kid killed four people drunk driving, and he only got probation. Okay, can you believe that shit? This is a big story in the USA. Now, some of my uh, overseas subscribers, you might not have heard of this, but this crazy shit goes on here. He only got probation. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Somebody needs to investigate... Uh, the sentence, that judge, because that is not normal. Like, usually in the U.S., if you kill someone, much less four people, when you're drunk driving, you're going to at least do some time. From what I've seen, if, if you kill someone completely by accident, but you're drunk, you usually end up doing at least a few years, you know, usually you, you'd be you'd be sentenced to maybe five years and maybe you'd get out in two or three but to do zero time almost unheard of, not only does that go against common sense, it go, goes against um, the statistics, okay, the precedent yeah, this guy had no record but of course not, when you're, he, he was 16, of course he doesn't have like a huge record so that's one factor in his favor, but another factor that's used to determine the sentence is the effect you actually had, you know? That's just common sense, and it's, it's a precedent. I mean, you can look up statistics, I'm sure, but for instance, um, if you neglig negligently discharge a firearm, that's a crime. But if you uh, do that and the bullet hits somebody, um, that's a whole... You're going to get a stiffer sentence, usually, statistically. The same with drunk driving. You usually get a much stiffer sentence if you kill somebody rather than if you run into a street sign. I mean, that's just common sense, dude. That's just common sense. So something fishy went on as far as the sentence, but that's not where the story ends. Okay, flash forward to two years later, this kid is on probation, and somebody posts a Facebook video of this kid at a beer pong party, <laughs> okay? Now, you're not allowed to drink alcohol if you're on probation, usually, especially if you're on probation for drunk driving, right? So what does this kid do? He and his mother flee to Mexico. They go to Mexico so they don't have to check in at probation. Now they're on the run, right? Because he was afraid that if he checked in at probation, they might have put him in jail for violating probation. So his mom buys him a trip to Mexico, and they go to this uh, resort and start ordering pizzas, and he goes to strip clubs over there. And I think they found him from, I guess they were ordering pizzas or something, they tracked their cell phone or something, but they eventually found him, and the mom got brought back to America to face charges, and this kid's still in Mexico, but he's going to be brought back, you know, the rich, the rich family's lawyers are actually stalling, 
<laughs> which is only going to make it worse when he gets back here. And the ridiculous thing is that he probably would not have even had to go to prison or to jail just for violating the probation because, you know, it's a major hassle to put someone uh, into prison, especially a high-profile case. So they, they might have made him pay a fine or a warning, or it might have just been like 10 days in or some crap like that. Like, by, try by fleeing the country... He's actually committed more, you know, they, they've committed more crimes, his mother especially, and it's going to get much more harsh. And from the video that I saw, he wasn't drinking. I mean, he looked drunk, but I don't think the video showed actual drinking. It showed him surrounded by cups, f pre presumably full of beer. But he could have argued that it doesn't prove that he actually drank, because they didn't have, like, a blood test or anything. So this guy flees the country when he probably would not have even gotten in that much trouble for the violation. What an imbecile, and his uh, mother as well. Now here's where the affluenza comes in. In the original trial, the family hired a bunch of high-priced lawyers, and they argued that because he was so rich and spoiled and privileged, he did not know right from wrong, he didn't understand the consequences of actions, <laughs> and I, I guess that worked, because he, he didn't get any jail time. Completely ridiculous, considering that we all live in a physical world, we all understand cause and effect, it doesn't matter how rich you are, you know that if you jump off a building, um, and it's a very high building, you will probably be severely injured or killed. Uh, you can't tell me this kid did not understand physical cause and effect, such as running into people kills them, you know. Um, it's a ridiculous argument, but they called it the affluenza defense. Apparently, if you're rich enough, you can just claim that you didn't know that something was wrong or that you would <laughs> be punished. Wow, that's a great disease to have. I want to know how rich you have to be, because I can save up, man. I can save up if you, you just get a license to do anything. How much money do you have to have? I want to save up to try to, to try and catch this disease so I can have a get-out-of-jail-free card. I want some affluenza, man. And it, apparently, another great uh, reason why it's such a great disease is because it's fatal, but it's not fatal to you. Apparently, it, it was certainly was fatal to that four people he killed. You know, of course, I'm being sarcastic, of course, but I'm just trying to highlight the ridiculousness. Is that what we as a society have come to? Affluenza? Holy crap. Why? Those lawyers should be disbarred. They should not be allowed to practice law because it's absurd. You know, this kid needs to go to jail. His mom needs to go to jail. Somebody needs to check out why the judge uh, made that sentence. And someone needs to check out these lawyers that are making a mockery of our entire system. Okay, that is all I have for this rant. Um, in the, well, first of all, I'm going to include some links in the text description box, just so you can, whatever, do some shopping for gear. Alright, but in the comment section, write what you think of affluenza, and what you think should happen to this, uh, now 18-year-old and his mother. What you think might happen, or what should happen. You know, get creative, be as colorful as you want. Uh, this has been another We All Juggle Nights broadcast. I'm out.